Hey everybody, Sean back here with uh, another let's play. We're playing uh, Lego Batman 2 on the Xbox 360. We're playing this on uh, the Xbox One thanks to backwards compatibility. Thank you Microsoft, I really appreciate that. So Lego Batman 2 is um Ooh, what's coming soon? Damien Wayne, uh Is that DLC? Put the subtitles on. Nightwing wasn't in the base game, what? What's coming soon? What's coming soon? It's Lego Lords of the Rings. Cool. So Lego Batman 2 was the last Lego game I played for a long time. Um, so what was it? I played Lego Star Wars, Lego Star Wars. Uh, when that came out, uh, I didn't play Lego Star Wars 2 or Complete Saga for a long time. Some bald guy. So Lego Batman 2 is the first Lego game to use voices. Like the first Lego Batman, it makes excessive use of the 89 soundtrack. The voice cast in this game is uh, really good. In particular, Clancy Brown returning as Lex Luthor from the Superman animated series and Justice League, the DC animated universe. It's really good with the serious portrayal, um, contrasted with a lot of the other characters and some of the wacky lines he delivers. I'm surprised you took time away from your presidential campaign and came all the way to Gotham City for this. Oh dear, yeah, Lex. as a nominee, it's my pleasure and privilege to be. Especially if you win. <laughs> that wasn't a and now, joke. Ladies and gentlemen, the mm. moment you've all been waiting for, this year's Man of the Year Award goes to Bruce Wayne. And that's gonna be exactly why Lex Luthor's a villain in this game. Year, buddy. See, it feels like one of those super uh, super villain origin stories there. Who could that be? So, Lego Batman 2 is subtitled as DC Superheroes, but for the most part, it's Batman. One man who has made it his mission to improve the lives of people around him. Hmm. He has remodeled our buildings. Helped keep to be fair, that was a derelict building. Yeah, but you also vandalized that bank, Joker. I sure hope nobody was looking out there you at that time. Shown your <laughs> hmm. And why stop now? So one thing I do really like about um, the Lego games for DC stuff is the light-hearted nature of them. I feel like a big problem with a lot of the LEGO, the DC media recently has been. I feel like a lot of the DC media recently has been overly dark and edgy. In some cases, the darkness has been decent enough. Um, no like, t the Titans series was a lot better than anybody oh, really expected it to be. It's definitely better than I expected hands. it to be. I want your watch. Nice running into you. Let's do it again sometime. Oh, we will. Yeah, you probably shouldn't rob Lex Luthor. Because he's, he's the kind of guy to hold a grudge. <laughs> Ah, who 
am I kidding? When I like this voice of the Joker. Is it a decent enough voice? And what a thrill to finally see myself on the big screen. I actually did go through Look Lego DC face. Supervillains it's recently, like, which was a lot of fun. And they replaced the um, most of the cast with more Sorry, recognizable face, DC voice actors. You're I think it's Troy you. Baker voicing Batman here. And DC supervillains brought Kevin Conroy back and Mark Hamill played the Joker again. It's like, yeah, it's good voice acting, but yeah, these voices were fine and got the point across. Batman! So this is a very different kind of uh, game to uh, Arkham Asylum. It's co-op, but we don't have a second player here. Get off the bat, Bo. Joker thugs. Leave that woman alone. So, if there was one complaint I really have with uh, LEGO games, it's the whole collectathon nature of them. It's not that it's bad, it just hits the wrong parts of my head. And so there's a case of, like, you've got the True Hero meter up at the top, which basically every game has, has a different name in each game. And essentially you have to break almost everything to get enough studs, which is your currency, to fill them up. And so you end up going through the entire level breaking everything. You okay there, lady? Yeah, breaking everything to get enough money to get the True Hero meter up. Uh, if you're going after like the 100% stuff. I do it usually so that I don't have to replay the levels. Because the levels can be fun on a single playthrough. Going through them again on free play can be kind of tedious. Uh, when certain abilities are required and stuff. And it's like, yeah. But the game itself is a lot of fun. Uh, but the real complaint I have with the Lego you're Batman games. That's a decent Harley Quinn voice. The real complaint I have with the LEGO Batman games in particular is the overuse of the 89 soundtrack. There's very little actual uh, original music, almost all of it is taken from the 89 soundtrack. And the 89 soundtrack is fantastic, the issue becomes when it's all you're hearing. Batarang. It's only come a long way from the original LEGO Star Wars. I'll see you, Holly. Quickly, Robin. After her. <clears throat> and she's been dealt with. So this is a, a new... Uh, this is a, another piece from the 89 mood. Although oh, one thing I do like about this is... There's a band here playing it. Although, if you destroy the uh, the instruments, the music won't actually change, which is a little disappointing. It would have been uh, really cool if it had. Uh, had like a variable mix to go with um, the instruments. You're ruining the song with that piano. So, what's going on here? Hello. Who could be under there? It's the Riddler. Hide and see, Batman. I do love the uh, cartoony style of some of the voices as well. Yeah. The reason we're going to Lego Batman 2 uh, instead of the first one is the first one is a fun game to play. I don't think it's a fun game to watch because there's not really much going on. Um, like I said this is the first game in the series in the Lego series with voice acting. 
it has a pretty solid story. Um, the first Lego Batman is the vaudeville tactics and slapstick uh, that the old games used, but I think the first Lego Batman was also the first Lego game to have an original story as well. And I think the vaudeville stuff, the silent uh, slapstick stuff, works best around a story where, you know, like Lego Star Wars is a lot of fun like that. Um, hoping the new Lego Star Wars will be silent again, because it's definitely better that way. Lego Lord of the Rings um, was funniest when it was um, silent. Quickly, Robin. Hit the target. I do want to do Lego Star Wars sometime, but the big concern with that is the music copyright. Which I'm also a little concerned about here, actually. Oh, hey, is a Tana reference. It's kind of a shame she's DLC in this game. Oh, okay. Good work, Redler. This is for Arkham Asylum. The payoff we were after. See you in Lego Batman. Is he in Lego Batman 3? I don't remember. I didn't finish Lego Batman 3. Lost interest in it partway through. Eh. Quickly, Robin. Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Two face thugs. There is one thing I did definitely prefer about LEGO DC supervillains over LEGO Batman, the LEGO Batman series. It finally got rid of the, um, the multiple suits. It also didn't have a focus on Batman, which was nice. I need the Acrobat suit, I forgot about that. So there's gotta be stuff to destroy here. course. Yeah, every character just had abilities in DC supervillains rather than essentially Batman and Robin being able to do everything themselves with different suits. And the problem with the suits is like you have to find the suits in each level. <clears throat> and each suit can only do certain things and it's less interesting honestly. What's going on up there? Two face. Batman, am I pleased to see you? <laughs> yeah, that's Troy no, Baker. Not at all. Uh, at this point, penguins. At this point, um, I forget the exact date on this. This might be Troy Baker playing Two Face for the first time. It might be reprising his role from Arkham City. Oh, Robin can't do this alone. Guess we'll need Batman. Wow, oh, they just keep coming. There's gotta be something I need to break here. Go away. And two phases causing problems. Quickly, Batman, grapple up here. There we go. Break everything. It's okay, Bruce Wayne will pay for it later.
So what are we after building here, I wonder? I've done Lego Batman 2 twice uh, before this. Um, I did a playthrough of it with my brother several years back, uh, which was fun enough. More things there. And I did a playthrough of it again a couple of years ago. And I actually had more fun with it the second time than the first. But I might it might just be that I've mellowed out since the first time I played it. I'm going after that. That was a blue stud, that's a thousand. Hold on, Robin. You're finished, Harvey. How many people are there? Joker. Well, better get after him. You know he doesn't like to be kept waiting. I wonder what this is. Anything up here? Ooh. The purple blocks are like 5,000 or something. Might as well do this one as well. Come on. Two. Oh, it's a mini kit. The mini kits are collectibles. There's 10 in this game. In each level. Um, it sounded a bit confused when I said that. Because like the game I did most recently was uh, Super Villains, and there were five per level in that. One of the problems I have with some of the, um, the LEGO games, especially the older ones now, is they're intended for co-op. Did you hear the one about the guy who dresses up as a bat? It's got a they're intended for co-op, but. Uh, when you play him single player, your partner will never contribute to anything. Like, Batman's just stood there, he's not helping me fight. And it does become kind of irritating. There's no game over in this. When you die, you just lose some money. The money falls out around you and you can just pick it up again. So there's no real game over, you can keep going. It's just irritating. Um, you're probably going to die because you're overwhelmed, there's too many enemies and you can't deal with them on your own and your AI partner is not helping you. Hit the right thing, Robin. Too busy trying to hit a broken shelf. I got him. Robin, no! That was a Batman Beyond reference. No, not a Batman. That was a Batman and Robin reference. I don't know if that came across well. What are you doing? The feast is illegal. Very basic puzzles, and that's it. For this level, actually, I think this is the end of the level. Can't just jump down there, though, we have to build this. It's a zip line. Good work, Robin. He had a speedboat. And we decided to crash our speedboat through the theatre. Good work, Batman. I hope the music in this doesn't get copyrighted. You know, having played more recent... Lego games. That roster looks tiny.
I mean, like the more recent LEGO games are... Like, usually over a hundred characters. LEGO Batman 3 was, um... LEGO Batman 3's roster was pretty decent. It focused more on uh, DC rather than just Batman. Even though this is DC supervillains, it's almost entirely Batman. Did I say supervillains? I meant DC superheroes. Um, like the, the actual DC superheroes aren't really going to appear till right near the end. With one real exception. <laughs> 